so i think i finished um my diploma mm-hmm. on the 14th mm-hmm. um and then the following week i was at desta doing orientation mm. Now also that made me the orientation was amazing they had a very amazing orientation program for first years mm-hmm. uh, which I gave my life for for like I think 5 years mm-hmm. even after mm-hmm. graduation I was mm-hmm. still volunteering for the program What it, it was really? called uh, Dulos. Dulos yeah mm-hmm. and Dulos is a Greek word mm-hmm. meaning mm-hmm. servant leader mm-hmm. and yeah it taught me a lot more again about mm-hmm. people loving mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. understanding where they are from mm-hmm. uh, pushing yourself because we we did a lot of things mm-hmm. uh, climbed Mount Kenya mm-hmm. in that time did mm-hmm. kayaking just a little about dulos was it formed before you joined totally All yes right. it was formed before mm-hmm. and a culture was built mm-hmm. i must uh, give a big shout out to nelson kanja we call mm-hmm. him nero mm-hmm. uh there's rohoro mm-hmm. those are people i met and are still friends today mm-hmm. uh a a highlight i don't i'll call it a moment mm-hmm. is again mm-hmm. my parents took me to school mm-hmm. My dad never missed mm-hmm. any school event. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It was in Madagascar like mm-hmm. I can remember him in all. Mm-hmm. So every new season of mm-hmm. school he mm-hmm. was there. Mm-hmm. And I remember going to Desta mm-hmm. and I was overwhelmed mm-hmm. by the people. Mm-hmm. My index number was 00-0180. I'm like gosh, I am 180 and then there's a 200 and the other people in front of me. Oh my mm-hmm. god, this is to I was so overwhelmed mm. and as I get to the table mm. I just start crying tears I just stream for the first time in my life tears are streaming I'm mm. like this feels like a wilderness mm. and I thank God because then the Dulos people were waiting and the lady who received me at the time mm. uh, it's called Candy she was mm. Candy Moriungi but now Candy Wavero mm. who is still my friend mm. today 20 years later mm. uh, she has received she happens to be like receiving me in very serious seasons of my life mm. and I'm always grateful for that because mm. she made me calm down mm. I remember my parents driving away she was mm. like you'll be fine you'll be mm. fine so in anyway, when I was registering for the class mm. I wanted to do communication mm. and psychology mm. but who is Mr Kibinda mm-hmm. no mm. because BA means baba alinituma mm-hmm. I'm joking mm-hmm. but example but uh BA he said do community development mm. and any other thing mm. I was like man you don't know but I mm. am so grateful mm. that I did community development mm. I have enhanced my communication skills in various uh, avenues mm. but what I learned mm-hmm. um, in school mm. is 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 I think I'm amongst the blessed people or mm. again the privileged privileged people mm. who get to work mm-hmm. what you studied for right. you know right yeah mm. so I did that and like 51,000 electives. Mm. I was in business. Mm. I did a couple of psychology. Mm-hmm. I did I think a music uh, elective, mm. you know, because I was all round. Maybe mm. that explains the classes in a joke. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, Dexter, I'm grateful for the gentleman who who held fort, mm. uh, Tim Fairman mm-hmm. and his uh, mm. and his the team mm. then there was also so fair man i'm mm. grateful mm. because they they knew what they were doing mm. and they captured a lot of lost minds mm-hmm. at the time mm. because you see like if i i'm already exposed to all these mm-hmm. then i come into this scenario and i'm feeling lost mm-hmm. but there's this one week where i'm spending with um uh people who are ahead of me mm. but in a, they are making me slide into the education system mm easily right. was amazing and yeah. i wish yeah. universities would um, that embrace system. that that mm. onboarding very mm. easy mm. and uh, onboarding mm. um mm. in campus because mm. then i was familiar with my classrooms mm. i'm familiar with my classmates mm. because i met them during orientation mm. you know um mm. i wish i wish mm. they would embrace that mm. so anyway mm. I, i i ventured mm-hmm. into Uh, Julos mm-hmm. I was also a very strong participant of Sing Africa mm-hmm. uh, which still stands today mm-hmm. and uh, bathed a fleo uh, Sing Africa was yes. bathed in Daystar Yeah it was bathed in Daystar by, by Team Caberia and uh, bathed um a fleo yeah. and so bathed a fleo during your tenure uh, yes as I was coming to 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 exit, finish yeah. yeah to exit mm. 
and uh, but again mm-hmm. being who i am mm. you'll find me with the football guys mm. the rugby guys as the water girl mm. uh, richard i was in mm. the evangelism choir oh my goodness <laughs> Oh. which was left for the quote unquote the others in yeah. spirit of branding those guys yeah. you know because they would sing the the choir kind of uh, music yeah. i loved it yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. uh, i got an opportunity to work for the Desta Christian Fellowship mm. uh, rather volunteer mm. and also lead sing africa at some point mm. i was a mm. vice chair mm-hmm. of sing africa mm. my leader then was Jonathan Ameka mm-hmm. and uh, again people doing great things mm. not only for god but mm. impacting mm. society mm. i'm grateful for desta mm. and that's why let me tell you mm. any desters even if you meet them in a bar which mm. i know is an oxymoron mm. we'll know each other <laughs> you know and yeah. they're like oh i know yeah you mean mm. pick it up this is where i work and mm. stuff mm. um we open doors for each other mm. and uh, that's an amazing spirit mm. uh mm. it's i mean again servant mm. leadership, leadership. Yeah. um i can name drop mm. larry mado mm. is 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 an, uh, an alumni mm. uh njugush mm. of uh, k crew mm. uh karen karogo who mm. is the deputy governor yeri mm. these are all people that i interacted with mm. and many more who are aspiring mm. uh to do Uh, politics and mm. leadership mm. and doing amazing things mm. so mm. this was really a great hub for mm. great minds lovely lovely and is that also so you mentioned you became very you ventured into all these choirs did you did you did you express yourself yes. musically I was quite singing. a bit I was in the drama club with Yafesi and his lovely wife yeah. Andrew Danga yeah. uh, oh my god I even yeah did a play with them yeah my god what did i do <laughs> I, i was i was there full t- and i still had time for my when i mentioned ma- there was a bit course. of watery so as well uh, no just supporting i mean okay. the, the guys had beautiful voices and they still do <laughs> like in a pastor brian and and, and the rest yeah. um i was in the dance team yeah. and that's why i get to, uh, got to meet uh all over yeah. and i got to meet uh, what is his name his name oscar oscar yeah. yes yeah. oscar and mugambi yeah. who was also uh, my uh, my friend's friend yeah, yeah. i mentioned paul karingithi yeah. who was also we were in drama together, together. Mm. uh No, I look at it I'm like I, I'm not sure if I want my children to do all that. because <laughs> uh, it was a full play. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah. You, 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 the, I, I think networking is I think one of the biggest things you get out of that. And mm. also you I think parents at the time would be happy with a child doing all of those because then yeah. you don't have time not to think about you know uh, reckless things yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> and, and, and i don't mind yes yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah so we used to say, used to have a very bad running joke mm. that uh, you're a major in co-curricular activities and, and a minor, minor in, in your education yeah. whatever part of education you're <laughs> yeah. taking yeah. but yeah all that was in my plate and i realized now it gave me capacity to handle a lot of things to multitask yeah and, to and, multitask yeah. and still do it excellently mm. and be a, and, and be dexterous and just do yeah. multiple things yeah. at the yeah. same time and at do the them same well. and do them well mm. that is it doing them mm. uh, doing them well mm. so mm. and that was a memorable time this was a memorable time in, yes yeah. four years and then yeah. i gave a bit uh, I, i was still involved a year after yeah. and i just went in a while yeah. so i'll be walking in the street and someone stops me and says yeah. thank you for giving of your time mm. dulos changed me mm. and those words let me tell you i can mm. go and sleep mm. and know mm. i thank god that he gave me an opportunity to mm. impact and like you right. see again this is now community mm. more community as in mm. it keeps um unfolding yeah. Mm. yeah 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 that's that's really nice so um so you graduate from from Desta yes. um and then oh. so in the midst of this because we close for the long holidays mm-hmm. Um <laughs> one of those days I decided but see I'm an adult mm. and I got a nose piercing mm. I, don't, I don't know why I forgot to mm. to get it mm-hmm. again this goes back to parenting mm. and I remember walking in the afternoon I think my mom was was offloading her car mm-hmm. and she looks at me and she's like why did you actually decided to get a nose ring mm. I'm like yeah and I got a nose ring because my roommate then mm. Janet mm-hmm. uh, Janet uh, Mwendwa mm. had gotten a nose ring. Mm. So we are those those sisi ni wale wale. Mm. We went, we got mm. nose rings all of us. Mm. So people are going to their different homes. Mm. Where? I go to Mrs. Kibita's house and I kid you not for three months 
she did not talk to me. Yeah. Well, that period and going back to school. So I attempted, I'm going to visit my maternal grandparents mm. with the said nosery. Mm. <laughs> hey, I told you, my grandfather himself told me, never step into this house with that nosery. He's like, okay, so anytime I'm going to shards, I mean, how many times will I visit in the, those three months? So somehow my father and I had not met in those, because uh, either he's leaving early or I've left early to go sell kerosene, whatever. Mm. And then one Saturday, I remember it was a sunny Saturday, maybe at around midday. And I bump into my father as he's about to leave to go to Moranga. And he looks at me. He tells me, anytime my father called me Sarah, I knew, let me tell you, it is finished. It, there's, it fire. Is, there's fire. Mm. And it's an either fire, good fire, mm. or fire for now you are dead. Mm. Um, so he calls me, brings me close, and then he asks me, Sasa, no, in my mother tongue, eh? And he touches my nose. Why did you put on a nose ring? You know, you're such a beautiful, let me tell you. He said, beautiful girl. I was off to remove the said nose ring because I had offended my father. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so now I look at uh, our daughter, Bukedi, yeah. <laughs> and how she holds in such high regard. <laughs> I'm like, Yanni, I'm raising myself. <laughs> Payback time is now. Because <laughs> my mother was yelling, was shouting. She's not talking to me. But I'm not, I'm like, I'm least moved. But let me tell you, this man told me I am beautiful. Let me tell you. No iPhone, not the current iPhone right now, would match the feeling, <laughs> the feeling of that, of that moment. <laughs> so I went and removed my nose ring, got it blocked because I knew I'd offended Him. my father. Mm. But upon graduation, I realized, no, I must die. So you, I went and you got, it. I repierced it, got another one because I graduated. <laughs> so all my piercings are actually symbolic, uh, symbolic mm -hmm. of many things. So I remember my first one, my mother took me because of finishing class eight and passing. So I got that one. I got one for getting into this. I got one for graduating. I got, uh, I think my nose ring uh, was in, in Desta as well. Then the second, uh, did I get, a, I think I got this one because of my son when Moridi, uh came and I got this one four years ago when Mokeni came. So they are my scars of war. <laughs> ah! Yeah, so, oh gosh, I need to remember this is an official. <laughs> no, it is beautiful. <laughs> it's a, an official channel. Um, yeah, so I look at how Mokeni relates with you. And I'm like, and I probably understand what I, was I am seeing going through. Now you understand. She, she, she will watch this and also <laughs> I can't wait for her for her hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah which I'm fine with, you know. And then I get married to a man who has studs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I have a type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. um, so we yeah. are at the point of, of, of completing campus and, 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 and looking at also that exit from campus. And um, so you, you've done the year after, and, 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 and so what, how, how is that transition looking? So mm -hmm. um, I've always been busy, as mm -hmm. I've always been busy. So in two, I get into this in 2000. Mm -hmm. In 2001, mm -hmm. I meet a lady called Connie Kibu. Booty.